reluctance to say anything. It is not there. Nor am I at the same time reluctant to say anything. Not, you see, it depends upon you. You are the medium through which whatever I'm supposed to be saying is expressing itself. I'm not mystifying. You are the, uh, the, the medium through which it is expressing itself. It has no other way of expressing it. And uh, so you are not listening to me anyway. You can't listen without interpretation. You know, there is no such thing, art of listening and all that kind of thing. You have no way of listening to anything except uh, through interpretations. Is it possible for you to listen to anything with, without interpretation? And why should you listen without interpretation? That's all that you can do. If somebody says that, you see, the, that there is an art of listening, that, that, that you can listen to things without interpretation, it implies that there is something marvelous is going to happen or some such thing. How about when you listen? Do you... It's, it's just noise. <laughs> you regard it as noise. Yeah. You know, if the computer is registering everything, you see, it's, 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 a, it's an automatic thing, you know. You are just a computer there. That's all. You don't want to accept that fact. For centuries we have been brainwashed to believe that there is something there that you should not be... Uh, it's just a mechanical human being, you know, that you should be this, that, or the other, you know. And uh, the misery or the tragedy of mankind is uh, because of that we have superimposed on that what we call human values, you see. The human values uh, are responsible for the tragedy of mankind because they're all false. So what they have done is to create a Misery, you see, at suffering, you suffer. Because they, are, they are false and they have falsified you. The question, how can they be false, the great teachers of mankind? They are all false, you know. So this is certainly that I have stumbled into somehow. It's something which cannot be transmitted to you. you know? No power in the world can touch this. No power. It's not a logically certain premise. But it has this tremendous energy behind it, the energy of life. So no power can touch this, no power can contaminate it. There is only one person who can make this obsolete, and that is you, because you will touch life at a point where nobody else touched it before you. So all those who existed before you, all the teaching is false, as far as you are concerned. This is all that I can say. <laughs> So you can't be yourself as long as you want to bring about some change in you. That's all that you are interested in. How can we help wanting to change as long as it seems to me that every thought we think is an attempt to change? Change, you see. How can that we is why it has, it has created have? violence there. Yeah. So you, you would dream that you are going to have a peaceful state of mind through war. It is an impossible dream. That is why you cannot create a peace around you. Through war, you cannot create peace in this world. That's period. Full stop. Full peace. You have peace between the two wars. So are there thoughts? I question even thoughts. Are there thoughts there? About thoughts? Oh. Yes. Yeah, thoughts you cannot that. separate yourself from thought and look at thought. I'm very mean, concerned to know something about thought is there because of the assumption that there is such a thing as thought. I say no thought. What is there is only what you know about thought. I was saying in India, remember I question even the consciousness. Is there any such thing as consciousness? No. You become conscious of things only through what you call thought. Thought is not something mysterious, mystical thing. It is the knowledge about the things. You call that a camera, you call this uh, sofa, you call her a woman, you call him a man. That's all that is there. 